All right, geniuses. So let's um, go right to it. We're going to work with mass balance, concepts of mass and balance. And we, in your workbook, in your e-workbook, it's going to be under the title of Creepy Crawler. And it's going to be aligned with Dr. Mae Jemison, who is uh, an African-American woman and the first of her kind, of her type, of woman, black, uh, to have launched into space. Okay, so she's a really interesting woman, and um, her journey uh, might be one that you find yourself interested in. She um, uh, did a, a degree in engineering, chemical engineering. From there, she went on to medical school. Um, she was very active in an organization called the Peace Corps, and you all might decide to do uh, a tour with the Peace Corps. It's an opportunity to travel the world and serve and help kids and young people like yourselves in other parts of the world. And uh, she uh, was in Liberia, to be, to be exact. When you talk about mass imbalance, right, mass is anything that has weight and takes up space. So your body would be an example of an object that has mass. It has weight, you have a weight, and you take up space, okay? Now the center of mass is a position that is relative to the object, um, if you will, um, or several objects in the system, if you will, okay? Um, the, it's the average position of all the parts um, of that system weighted according to their mass. Now that might sound kind of strange. When you talk averages, when you, when you, when you, you know, that's a mathematical term, nothing difficult about it. If I had um, five objects and each of those five things had a weight, the average weight of those five objects would be found when I added each of their individual weights, meaning I gained the sum, the sum is the total amount with respect to an addition problem, right? So the sum of all of those five weights divided by five, okay? And that would give me the average of all of them. So if you and your classmates, if two or three of you, if three or you, four of you, however number in your group, if we added up all of your weights, okay, and let's not say it's your real weight, we just assigned you a number, and then we would add each of those together, we'd get a sum, and we would determine the average of that sum by dividing by the number of the numbers we added, okay? So that's how we get that. And so when we're talking about um, mass and balance, right, we're talking about taking the average of the uh, total parts of the system, and uh, so however many, right, and then uh, the weighted, and have them, of course, weighting, weighted according to their, their masses. And what happens is, you know, in order to try and find the center of mass so that we can stand up straight and not fall all over, that's what we're going to get a feel for with this next little exercise of ours, okay? So um, I want you to grab that kit that says uh, Maze Mass and Balance or, cre or, or it might say Creepy Crawler on it. And I want you to pull. Now, you have three items in there and three items only. You have a um, stainless steel um, ball bearing. It should be perfectly round, if you will. You have a capsule that is um, made out of a gelatinous material. Uh, um, so what will happen if your hands are moist and or, or uh, um oily, you could actually cause the decomposition, the breakdown of that capsule, and then it's not of any use to us, okay? So a couple of things you can do in the process. You can 
grab one of your plastic gloves out of your Genius Box kits and put that on your hand if your hand is feeling a little oily. Or you can wash your hand <laughs> and dry it really, really well and don't put any oil or cream on it right away, okay? Uh, maybe the easiest thing to do is to put on one of, or two of your plastic gloves. But don't discard them afterwards because you may need them again for the other activities, okay? So I want you to pull your little gelatinous tube out and your little ball bearing out and your piece of foil, if you will. And what I want you to do is to first open up your little capsule, if you will, and put inside of your little capsule, in your plastic gloved hands or clean, dry hands, uh, separating the little capsule very gently. You don't want to break it because it's not very strong, okay? Very gently remove the top from its bottom, okay? And then place your little ball bearing inside of that capsule, closing it back up, okay? Now... Before you do anything else, because remember, we don't want to spend a lot of time with that in our hand without protecting it. Grab your little square piece of foil, rectangular piece of foil, and it should be rectangular. Now, it's not going to be a perfect rectangle, because a perfect rectangle would mean what? Two sides of the four sides, two sides are and they're the opposite sides are the exact same length, okay? So the length, 2L, 1L, one length, one length means two lengths or two Ls. We, and, and, and you'll get to this, or you should already be doing some of this actually, but um, in your algebraic expressions, right, we can use variables to help and support our mathematical expression. And so the formula for the um, perimeter, which is the measurement of all the sides of a figure, for a rectangle is 2L plus 2W. W being the width, how wide it is. L being the length, how long it is. Okay? So uh, we know we have a rectangle when the two sides, opposite sides, are the same of the same measure. You roughly have that in place, but it may not be exact. So don't worry about that. That's nothing to do with anything. Uh, what I, and that was just a sidebar of how math is tied into all of this. I want you to take that thing now that you have created, put that little ball inside that gelatinous piece, and then I want you to wrap that in your foil. Okay, now you may have way more foil than you need. So let's get that in there and let's try to do it as tight as possible. And then let's try to close the sides up really nicely. Okay. And so when you're done, it looks kind of like that. And you know this thing, <laughs> you try to let it move a little bit woo, in your middle of your palm. And you know it's found the middle, it's, 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 mass center of mass when it kind of balances itself in the middle of your hand so i want you all to play with that okay and to um uh you know kind of test your skill in that space all right and i want you to determine whether or not it's alive now if something is living it has some very very specific um Specific uh, characteristics, seven to be exact. You're alive. How do you know? You breathe. Living things breathe. What else do living things do? And we're going to test that because even though this thing is moving and doing its thing, we're trying to determine if it's alive. So work with your team leads and your facilitators and you all talk about it. Is that thing alive? Living things breathe. Is it breathing? Living things have to take in some type of nourishment. They eat. And when you eat, what else do you do? <laughs> you poop. 
<laughs> and you pee. <laughs> Does this thing look like it might do that? You go on. There's at least seven things you can come up with to determine whether something is living or not. Those characteristics are included in your kit. So uh, I'll talk to you next time.